anything more. And he expanded his name. I can't think of that other category that you call this one.
begins on page 54. <clears throat> o God the Father, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy upon us. O God the Son, redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us. O God the Holy Ghost, sanctifier of the faithful, have mercy upon us. O holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, one God, have mercy upon us. Remember not, Lord, our offenses, nor the offenses of our forefathers, neither take thou vengeance of our sins. Spare us, good Lord, spare thy people, whom thou hast redeemed with thy most precious blood, and be not angry with us forever. Spare, spare us, good Lord. Lord. From all evil and mischief, from sin, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from thy wrath, and from everlasting damnation. Good Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. From all blindness of heart, from pride, vainglory, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and all uncharitableness, Lord, 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 Lord. from all inordinate and sinful affections, and from all the deceits of the world, the flesh, and the devil, Lord, 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 Lord. from lightning and tempest, from earthquake, fire, and flood, from plague, pestilence, and famine, from battle and murder, and from sudden death, Lord, 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 Lord. from all sedition, privy conspiracy, and rebellion, from all false doctrine, heresy, and schism, from hardness of heart, and contempt of thy word and commandment. By the mystery of thy holy incarnation, by thy holy nativity and circumcision, by thy baptism, fasting, and temptation. By thy agony and bloody sweats, by thy cross and passion, by thy precious death and burial, by thy glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Ghost. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment. We sinners do beseech thee to hear us, O Lord God, and that may, be, may please thee to rule and govern thy holy church universal in the right way. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord. That may please thee so to rule the heart of thy servant Job, the President of the United States, that he may above all things seek thy honor and glory. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord. That it may please thee to bless and preserve all Christian rulers and magistrates, giving them grace to execute justice and to maintain truth. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to illuminate all bishops, priests, and deacons with true knowledge and understanding of thy word, and that both by their preaching and living they may set it forth and show it accordingly. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. Lord. That it may please thee to send forth laborers into thy harvest. We beseech thee to hear us, Lord. Lord. That it may please thee to bless and keep all thy people. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to give all to all nations unity, peace, and concord. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to give us a heart to love and fear thee, and diligently to live after thy commandments. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. Lord. That it may please thee to give to all thy people increase of grace to hear meekly thy word, and to receive it with pure affection, and to bring forth the fruits of the Spirit. We beseech thee to hear us, Lord. Lord. That it may please thee to bring into the way of truth all such as have erred and are deceived. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. Lord. That it may please thee to strengthen such as do stand, and to comfort and help the weak hearted, and to raise up those who fall, and finally to beat down Satan under our feet. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to succor, help, and comfort all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to preserve all who travel by land, by water, or by air, all women in childbirth, all sick persons and young children, and to show thy pity upon all prisoners and captives. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to defend and provide for the fatherless children and widows and all who are desolate and oppressed. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to have mercy upon all men. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to give and preserve to our use the kindly fruits of the earth, so that in due time we may enjoy them. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to give us true repentance, to forgive us all our sins, negligences, and ignorances, and to endure us with the grace of thy Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to thy holy word. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. O 
the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy, mercy upon us. us. O Christ, hear us. O Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy, have mercy upon, upon us. us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, Christ have, have mercy, mercy upon, upon us. us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy, have mercy upon, us. upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly beseech thee, O Father, mercifully to look upon our infirmities, and for the glory of thy name, turn from us all those evils that we most justly have deserved. And grant that in all our troubles we may put our whole trust and confidence in thy mercy, and evermore serve thee in holiness and pureness of living, to thy honor and glory, through our only mediator and advocate, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ says. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets.
celebration of the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a devil? Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. And I seek not mine own glory, there is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and thou sayest, If a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? And the prophets are dead. Whom makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Then took they up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. The Gospel of the Lord. Of his debates with the Jews. 
was bringing himself closer and closer to the coup de grace, that is, his death. The Jews, already horrified at the statements emanating from our Lord's lips, and convinced he was a Samaritan, and thus racially and theologically tainted, declared he was possessed, possessed of a devil, and thus evil. And when it comes to evil, to tolerate is to accommodate, to accommodate is to appease, and to appease is to concede defeat. This the Jews would not do. Nowhere in Judaism to this day has it been said that the Messiah will be a God-man, but only a man with unusual power from God, not a pre-existent son of God, but a great political leader, descended, of course, from King David. The Jews have always been obsessed with not uttering God's name. To the Jews, the third commandment, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, applies not only to cursing itself, but to all expressions, excepting prayer and when reading the Torah. For Christ to declare himself as pre-existing Abraham, the father of all believers, and venerated in Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, was anathema. So the Jews judged him. They judged him. Of course, they didn't like him. They didn't trust him. And they were determined to put something on him and make him stick. Indeed, over 19 centuries later, La Brentry Barrett, the feared chief of Joseph Stalin's secret police, would boast, show me the man and I'll find you the crime. These Jews judged Christ by <coughs> their own, and later on, of course, Pilate would judge him. Who does not judge? Who does not judge? Christ warns us, judge not, lest ye be judged. Yet we judge all the day long, as judgment is inherent in, and even intrinsic to, human nature. We judge all kinds of things. Food, the weather, our fellow Des Moines driver, other people, referees, how well or poorly the service is celebrated. And we judge each other. I'm not going to be priggish, so priggish as to stand here and say that I never judge. In fact, there are some priestly functions which require judgment. But these Jews, in their judgment of Christ, felt they were really defending the faith of Father Abraham. And they felt that this man, Jesus of Nazareth, in declaring himself to be God, was guilty of blasphemy of the highest rank against the Most High. John tells us at the end of today's reading that the Jews took up stones to cast at him, that is, to kill him on the spot, yet he disappeared because it was not quite his time. Oh wait, if Jesus is God, how can he die? Well, simple, Jesus as man died on the cross. Jesus as God cannot die. Indeed, there are those, not of our faith, who say, what's the matter with you Christians? You Christians, you get a good job, a good God, and you kill him. There are some who say they are Christians who will say, oh sure, I believe in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. But when asked if they really believe Jesus is God, well that's a bit too much for them, and they uh, avoid eye contact. Or they become confused and think that the church has created a second God, maybe an assistant God to the Father. No one ever said that understanding the divine nature of Christ would be a simple assignment. Yet Holy Scripture, from Genesis through Revelation, surely bears it out. The Word, the Logos, the Son, became flesh and dwelt among us. John tells us this, but even before that, 
In his very first words, he says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus, when he became man, knew that he was God. And we see this. Some of his statements reference his divinity, other statements reference his humanity. Our Lady, in her immaculate heart, knew that she gave birth to the creator of the world, hence her title, Theotokos, Mother of God. The apostles, in time, figured it out, yet some who confess and call themselves Christians struggle with this, and they cannot be true Christians until they overcome that doubt, and certainly the need for certainty is invariable. The worst one in doubt can do is to fall down the rabbit hole of the New Age and the occult movement and begin to accept the teaching that each one of us can become a god. And from what I understand, it is very difficult to claw oneself out of that trap, but when one does, there is rejoicing in heaven and on earth. Our faith should reassure us of the dual nature of Christ and our basic power of reason to remind us that we have and can only have one nature, not two. Origen, one of the fathers of the Western Church, had this to say very simply, although he was God, he took flesh. 